I have all my pots and pans down here and I have two um, saucepans down here as well as we have, we just have one pot to boil water with. And I love cooking. And one of the things that Peter told me when we first started dating was, is that we eat better on the road than we do at home. My goal is to eat good all the time. Uh, so tonight I'm actually gonna make chicken pesto with angel hair pasta and a really nice cilantro side salad, so. Perfect, so we've got our stove flipped up here. Yeah. It's got auto ignition for it. We got the propane turned on outside at the tank and you can see that's fired up the flame there. And then we've got our sink lid flipped open you can see we added that little soap dispenser there so we don't have quite as much stuff on the counter even though we still have stuff uh, you can see there's a little rack here on the glass top that we store our little scrubber for our dishes and then our faucet and we relocated that you can see the hole behind there that's where it was originally located so our new location kind of gets the spout more in the center of the sink. Yes. So it's much more functional for cleaning and not making a huge Before mess. Before it was and right this here. Kind of up here has all of our dishes. Yes, so I just grabbed the cutting board out so that while the pasta's cooking, I can actually get all the salad stuff ready. So you can see we built in a little bit of shelving in there just to keep things organized and somewhat in place as we bounce around off-road on the truck. Yeah, it's really nice. And then we use just small Tupperware containers that hold on to, I've got cups in this side and bowls in this side. And then my coffee cup hangs out right there. So this is our fridge and it's a complete wreck right now. I hate it. We've this. had a lot of off-roading. We um, may have had stuff fall out of the fridge. <laughs> yeah, so the, the fridge is a little messy, but generally it's usually packed with veggies and meat. Um, I freeze meat flat so that we can fit as many as we can up there. Uh, currently there's only a couple of pounds of beef up there. Um, and we can typically carry about 12 nights worth of meat, but we can also do veggie meals too. Um, and then the drawers are actually really large. All of our stuff goes in there for lunch and then any vegetables that are in the midst of being prepped. So tonight we're going to do a lime cilantro salad dressing. And it's really nice. It's a salad that we do a lot because it's super easy. And um, we always have limes with us because we cook with lime a lot. So um, that's what I'm making right now. I already diced up most of the vegetables while the water is boiling. And uh, I'm just making the, the dressing itself that is lime, cilantro, a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, super simple. Um, but it makes for a really nice fresh salad while we're out on the road. And in this fridge, we can actually carry enough veggies for about a week. And I absolutely love vegetables. So um, I try to put them in everywhere I can in the meals as possible. Yeah, so we have, um, obviously we use the table that we oh, yeah. put in quite a bit. I mean, for working, you can see the tablet back there in the back, laptop here, cause I'm playing on it. So a lot of times while Faith is cooking, because uh, it's a little tight for both of us to do stuff in the kitchen at the same time. Um, I'll just be sitting here. Um, we can both sort of stand here in mm -hmm. the same area, but it's kind of tight to uh, have me stirring stuff on the stove while she is in here at the same time. So most time she runs the show when it yeah. comes to the cooking. So that, uh, that's basically how it looks. The uh, countertop space isn't huge in this camper because it's a little, but you kind of, uh, the cutting it, board kind of, you know, creates a little bit of counter space. Mm -hmm. We can flip down the sink cover and have a little bit of space there. And then we always have the dinette table. So that's kind of how that works. Yeah. Making the sauce right now. And since we're making a smaller salad than usual, we're going to make a smaller sauce because obviously we don't need quite as much. So instead of a half a lime, I'm just going to use a quarter of a lime. And then the cilantro is in there. You just put a dash of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. And then here's the salad that it goes on. The nice thing about this salad is it's pretty much odds and ends that are in the fridge. So a little bit of romaine lettuce, a little bit of onions, some tomato, some um, avocado. Um, there is an actual recipe for this salad, but I deviate so much because I just used whatever we have available. So, and I can always, what you got. right. And I can always link the, the actual, um, the actual recipe 
if you guys would like it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, the other thing that I'm going to make tonight is the pesto chicken. And the pesto sauce I pre-made, and I made it from scratch using another recipe that I really love, um, which I can also link below. And that just makes for a super simple, easy uh, dinner. So it'll take just a little bit longer. Sounds like the water is about boiling. So I'm going to put some noodles in and then finish up on the dressing and get the salad or get the chicken ready to to cook so i'm just going to throw the angel heart here pasta in since our pan is a little bit smaller i'll actually break the pasta in half so that it will all fit in the pan so makes it a little bit easier kind of messy though so we're going to aim it at the pan Ooh, that worked really well for all your spices in here they're actually in this cabinet right here so this is a a wall that are, or a an opening that originally went into my wardrobe but for me I love to cook as you can see I have lots of spices with us so Peter actually built me in an enclosed little cabinet which stores all my spices and I have the ones on the bottom that I use all the time and then the the top ones I don't use quite as frequently but they're all spices that typically go into different meals that we cook so it's really nice to have them with us so that I have everything I need for cooking because I absolutely love to cook Yep, organization is key in a tiny camper. It's so true. So you really have to think <laughs> through what you use and have a way to store it. And for how we use it off-road, you find out how secure your storage is. That's true. We've had to rearrange a few cabinets. I'm just dicing up a little bit of fresh parsley to go on top of the pasta. And then I'm gonna use the knife to dice up the chicken. Obviously, since we have tight space and tight quarters, we only have one knife. So I got to get all the veggies prepped and then I can use it to dice up the meat. Yeah, we try to reuse everything. We actually don't use plates very frequently. No. Nope. We just eat out of whatever pan that we cooked in and we We're typically this one tonight. share We're the same pan <laughs> and we just have our own utensils. So yep. pretty simple and less cleanup. Less cleanup is less water and yes. That's Less water waste means longer you can stay out mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, the noodles are ready and they are ready to be drained. And then I could just finish cutting up the chicken and it's starting to cook. I'm just going to do a light salt and pepper on the chicken itself because it's going to go in the pesto sauce here in just a minute. And then once this is all cooked and the pesto is all heated up, we'll just put it in there with some fresh parm and parsley on the top of it. And it'll be an amazing dish. Perfect. I'll go ahead and drain the noodles for you. Thank you. So doing a little washing up, huh? Yes. So um, you seem to soap everything and then rinse it all at the same time. Yes. Just to keep water efficiency. You can it see does. we put a little towel hook over there and that's how we dry our dishes. And we've got a little drying rack that we also let stuff sit there. Typically, if I'm washing, Faith will dry and yes. vice versa, otherwise, so it works out pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's a small sink, but make it work. Oh, it's a big sink. It fits so much stuff in it. It's <laughs> well, just compared to a house, it's true. a little smaller. But then also, you know, uh, you just want to increase your efficiency with the dishes and cookware you use because obviously it takes time to clean and takes more water so it does and it's Plan such a ahead. small space that you don't really want to leave anything dirty because then your whole space is just a mess yep so, so clean as you go is the best way to do it yeah. you can see the chicken is getting nice and cooked up yeah, now. yeah. it's about and ready for the pesto sauce and the noodles are all drained ready mm -hmm. to go you're dumping in some of the pesto i am and typically I'll make it as soon as I can find fresh basil and then I'll freeze it, but I will actually not really thaw out the pesto sauce until right before we serve it. But because our fridge opened yesterday, it was one of the items that decided to thaw early. <laughs> so it's a little messy tonight, but it'll still taste good. Get that all in there and mix it up, get it all nice heated up. Yep, the sauce sure. on so that it has a little bit of time to soak in and then I'll mix it around with the salad so that we have that awesome flavor all throughout. Mmm, that will be good. Yeah. It's really light flavor. Yummy it salad. Nice. It's got just a little bit of that lime tartness to it. Mm -hmm. That makes it fresh. So now I'm just going to pour it into this one because this is actually the pan that Peter and I will eat out of 
and we'll mix it all together so we get that awesome pesto sauce all throughout the pasta. And the nice thing about eating out of this pan is I'm not concerned about the fork scratching it up the way that I would with the Teflon pan. So mm, we'll go ahead and mix this awesome. up, add some fresh Parmesan and some fresh parsley. It'll be ready to go. This is my little storage drawer for my knives and uh, measuring cups and then usually silverware goes here. Peter made me this nice lid so that we don't lose anything when we were in the four wheel camper. Um, I want to say our first off-roading trip, we had our only knife go flying into the cabinet and in four wheel camper, it's a really tight space. Um, it was really hard to find. So um, Peter decided to make one of these for the four wheel camper. And when we got these drawers, we felt that it was really important too. So this one is some of the utensils and then I have more utensils down here, can opener. This is usually where the stirring utensils go and then my tin foil really really nice so, it's just a thin piece of plywood and you can see it's cut out so you can easily grab it but also mm -hmm. that way it doesn't interfere with the latch so when it closes the lip on this thing actually catches right underneath here mm -hmm. so it keeps everything in the door from flying out it's perfect it's really nice for being off road Ooh, and then we got our trash oh yeah show us that so this is actually um a, and i got some crap on the floor this is the a food storage container for cats and it's actually designed to go outside so it is supposed to keep most of the smells inside and we have this little hatch lid so that we don't have to open the whole lid but the nice thing about it is is if you cook any meat or anything so there's a meat wrapper in there you don't smell it so when we're out for a week at a time we typically can't dump trash but a week at a time and so this has become really awesome in having in the camper because it is large enough to hold a week's worth of garbage for us but it's also it doesn't smell so yeah so it's fully gasketed and then we use these trash bag liners so it's really easy to pull it out mm -hmm. it also is handy compared to a bag because we can actually kind of compress the trash down into there and so we get a little bit more in there you can see we've got a bungee cord that holds the trash can in place and it uh, has survived a lot of off-roading and yeah. even some jumping of the truck and it's not tipped over nothing so and then down here is our little dewalt vacuum cleaner so we use all dewalt tools so all our batteries are interchangeable and this little dude what's his name his little his name is rarf he is our little aardvark um vacuum and it's really nice because we can actually vacuum out and get everything off so that we can make sure to keep the camper as clean as possible because that makes me happy. Yeah, so a vacuum cleaner is game changer in a small camper. Mm -hmm. uh, brooms suck. You they get do. dust, dirt, everything in these little campers. So you are constantly vacuuming, but that thing just makes it fast and easy. And it lasts really well, it does wet, dry. Here is our spread. We got our little tablet. We're gonna watch a little Netflix while we eat dinner. You can see we use uh, some water bottles um, they're great because we can refill them and we of course have our water filters here in the truck and then we carry them into the truck uh, while we drive so they fit in the cup holders which is sweet but mm -hmm. look at this yummy feast faith has made up and this beautiful salad this is epic Yay. thanks for making our wonderful feast dinner this is You're welcome. Well, i guess it was at an angle <laughs> thanks for making our wonderful feast dinner you're welcome. It's super awesome. So we're going to sit here and enjoy some great dinner and we will catch you on the next video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed yeah. our cooking with faith uh, <laughs> episode and maybe we'll do some more of the cooking ideas faith has. We have a lot of great dinner ideas yeah. and the stuff that's pretty easy to make in the camper. So it's pretty nice. Um, so if that's something that interests you, be sure to comment and um, give us a thumbs up and we might do some more of that. Yeah. We'll catch you later. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.